It has been a strange and exciting offseason in Duval County because a couple of months ago, no one would have ever thought that you would even be the team that would win the Trevor Lawrence lottery. And now not only do you have Trevor Lawrence, but you have Urban Meyer, you have this fresh draft class, and you've had a series of extremely controversial decisions. And that's before I even said Tim Tebow's name. So what's going on, guys? Your boy Mike here. And guys, about five days ago, Ago, Travis Etienne and Trevor Lawrence took the Jacksonville Jaguars practice field for their first exposure to rookie minicamp. And although I wanted to bring you guys an update at the time, due to other obligations, I wasn't able to bring you a Trevor Lawrence update like I brought you a Zach Wilson update. So since I'm a couple of days late, I decided to sandwich all of that with Tim Tebow's first bit of practice footage in one video. Really quickly before we get to the content, guys, the NFL has been claiming me like crazy. Crazy. So do me a favor and sack that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I really don't care about making money on this channel. Primarily, I'm all about just getting my content to you guys and entertaining you guys and keeping you guys informed about the NFL because I love the NFL. In addition to that, I'm giving away another pair of Apple AirPod Maxes to someone that is following me on Instagram. Yes, all you have to do is go and follow at the flight mic on Instagram and you'll enter for a chance to win a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes. I'm going to announce the giveaway winner at 400k and now that we got all that out of the way break Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? The Jacksonville Jaguars have been mired in controversy. And honestly, even though they've been mired in controversy over the past couple of months, it still beats where they were about a year and two years ago. Because the very first move that the Jags made that at least had me scratching my head was months and months ago when they decided to hire Trent Bulky. Now, as a result of the Jaguars hiring Trent Bulky, I kind of tend to overanalyze some of the decisions this man makes when it pertains to the NFL draft or roster construction because during his time in San Francisco this man had a slew of NFL draft picks and he missed on 54% of them and 49ers fans will vouch for this he has made a lot of questionable draft decisions so that's just something to ponder as you see each and every move being made and I guess this blew up a little bit more at least in my perspective when the Jacksonville Jaguars decided to select Trevor Lawrence with a number number one overall pick, which anyone could have done. You didn't have to be a genius to know that he was the number one overall pick. But in addition to that, with the number 25 pick in the NFL draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars selected Travis Etienne. Travis Etienne is a very confusing selection because the Jaguars already had James Robinson, who had 1,070 rushing yards as a rookie last year and was clearly a quality starter. The only thing Travis Etienne brings to the table is the fact that there's familiarity with Trevor Lawrence dating back to their time in Clemson together. So their brand new head coach, Urban Meyer, clearly kind of displayed this in training camp when the headlines said five days ago that Urban Meyer was giving Travis Etienne wide receiver reps. So this is very strange because whenever you have a first round pick at a position in your head, assuming that he fulfills his potential, you have a quality starter at that position. In this situation, the Jags already had James Ross Robinson, and now Travis Etienne comes into the fold and Urban Meyer decides to play him at wide receiver. Urban said that at the very worst case scenario, you have a running back with the skill set of a wide receiver. Best case scenario, you will have a hybrid player who does both. And that's what we're hoping to develop out of Travis. So it seems like he's just trying to develop Travis Etienne's ability as a pass catching running back. But still, the combination of Trent Bulky and the fact that he's playing Travis Etienne at the wide receiver receiver position, considering that Etienne's making the transition into the NFL during rookie minicamp already is kind of strange to me, especially because I would have liked to see the Jaguars select a player like Tevin Jenkins with that pick, but hey, I'm not the general manager of the Jacksonville Jaguars. But another thing that was extremely 
extremely controversial at the time, at least the day of the NFL draft, right when the Jacksonville Jaguars were selecting quite possibly the most transcendent quarterback since the days of Andrew Luck, was the fact that Tim Tebow was working out for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And bear in mind, he wasn't working out as a quarterback, rather he was working out as a tight end. This is extremely strange because one, Tim Tebow has been pushed about a decade ago, well, a little bit less than a decade ago, right after he went from the Denver Broncos to the New York Jets, to the New England Patriots, to the Philadelphia Eagles, to out of the league, teams were urging him to make the transition to tight end. And he famously said, no, he opted to go and play minor league baseball instead and was a broadcast personality for a little bit of time. We made a whole story about this. I'll leave it in the end screen for you guys and said he'd rather do that than transition to tight end. So what changed here? Well, when the Jacksonville Jaguars decided to bring in Urban Meyer as a head coach, I'm sure something clicked in Tebow's head saying that the happiest times of my life that were revolved around the game of football was when Urban Meyer was coaching me at the University of Florida. And although he wouldn't be the quarterback this time, Urban Meyer clearly has an ulterior motive in bringing along Tim Tebow to the roster because one, you have a player that already buys into your culture, buys into your philosophy, and has experienced success with you, even though it's at a different position. And two, dude, if you look at the way Tim Tebow does broadcasting, you have to admit this is a guy that you want in your locker room. He's positive, he's uplifting, he's actually a leader, even though he hasn't had the best NFL career. So it is extremely strange that at the age of 33, which is when some tight ends retire or when some tight ends best years are behind him, Tim Tebow decided to take on a brand new position, but honestly, I'm not expecting him to do great things as a tight end. I just see this as an excuse to be in the Jacksonville Jaguars locker room and to potentially help Trevor Lawrence's development and improve team chemistry. And well, Tim Tebow officially signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars this morning and has joined his team for off-season workouts, stating, I want to thank the Jacksonville Jaguars for the opportunity to compete and earn the chance to be part of this team. I know it will be a challenge, but this is a challenge I embrace. I am dedicated to taking the direction of our coaching staff and learning from my teammates. I appreciate everyone's support as I embark on this new journey. So when Urban Meyer was asked why he decided to pursue this strange direction, he said that there's a thought going around that he was in the best shape of his life. So we asked him if he could work out with a couple of our coaches. Urban said that he wasn't even there, but they came back to him and said, wow, Tim Tebow is in awesome shape. Then I went another time and watched them try him out and they said that he needs to go and work on specific things. Then he comes back later, we try him out again, this time Urban isn't there again, and they say that, wow, Tim Tebow's a great athlete, he's got ball skills, he looks like he's 18 years old, not 20 or whatever he is, 33. And Urban said, I don't think you guys understand. Now this guy is the most competitive maniac you're ever gonna talk about, so let's give him a shot. This all ties back together to what I was telling you guys about Trent Baalke. Very strange general manager roster construction. And although it kind of worked out in San Francisco during the early 2010s, at the end, it was Trent Baalke's decision making that eventually pushed Jim Harbaugh out the door. And that and a combination of poor roster construction is why the San Francisco 49ers eventually moved on from the Baalke Harbaugh era and brought in John Lynch and Kyle. Shanahan, which shout out to them. That was a really freaking quick rebuild. So it's going to be a very interesting season in Duval County. And I really hope that the Jacksonville Jaguars are the hard knocks team this year, because there's just so many storylines that goes into this team with Urban Meyer's first time being a NFL head coach to Tim Tebow joining the Jacksonville Jaguars, all the way to the fact that they drafted the most transcendent quarterback of the past decade. So keep your eyes open for a story about about this in the future. And aside from that, I got to go make another video. We've heard a huge trade update in regards to the Atlanta Falcons. So I'm your boy, Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.